Hey, this is Alex here with A3J Group, here to talk a little bit about using the APIs with Maximo to query for data. Um, so we're going to start by just logging into Maximo real quick, poke around. Uh, I've got a Maximo environment here, mxapproved.a3jgroup.com slash Maximo. I can log in as Mike Wilson uh, and, and query around Maximo. I've got some, some pretty good rights here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a, an application called Postman. Uh, Postman is an application that simulates um, REST API calls, so you can make any sort of HTTP request and get a response back. And it gives you all sorts of uh, power over the types of requests uh, with headers, parameters, authorizations, etc., that you can make. So uh, this first request here, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to query for a person ID that starts with C A R. Um, this is this request is going to be used um, is going to be made using the the JSON API. Uh, the JSON API is available in Maximo six uh, sorry seven six zero two and higher, um, and uh, really powerful framework. Lots of great documentation online. Uh, but we're going to do a really simple example here of just querying for uh, person records that start with C A R and the person ID. So I've constructed a URL here, mxapproved.a3jgroup.com slash Maximo. You'll notice that that is exactly the same as the URL here of my Maximo environment, this uh, mxapproved.a3jgroup.com slash Maximo. Um, <clears throat> after that, we have a slash OSLC slash OS, which stands for object structure, slash mxpersion, which is an object structure in my Maximo environment. So if I come back here, go to object structures and type in MX person, I've got a person definition of an object structure here. After MX person, uh, we have the question mark character followed by lean equals one, which basically tells it not to use the namespace information. And then I have an O oslc.where, and I give it a where clause, person ID equals CAR percent sign. So this will query for records uh, in the person table that have person ID starting with CAR. Now the key thing from an authentication perspective is since my Maximo environment uses a native Maximo authentication, I need to use this max auth header. So what is this max auth header? It's uh, a base64 encoded string uh, of the username and password credentials. So if we come over here, if we go to base64encode.org, which is a utility website, you can type in your username, followed by a colon, followed by your password, and click this encode button. And down below, you'll get a base64 encoded uh, string that represents uh, that username and password combination. So that those are the credentials that we're going to use, uh, which is what we need in order to, for Maximo to authenticate as the user Wilson uh, against this environment. So when we run this, what we get back is <clears throat> our response. Now we have one record in our response. We can use the oslc.select equals star and that'll actually give us back a lot of information about that person. Specifically, we have the person ID of Carson, which is, you know, we said we want all the people that start with CAR. So we got one record back here. Cool. Okay. Um, <clears throat> moving on, if we wanted to do a single record, uh, you'll notice here in the uh, initial response we got back from our list that we have this sort of underscore Q zero F etc string this represents an identifier for a specific person record so if we come at and you'll find that in the href attribute coming back from your list so if we go to that um, URL specifically with that um, Q0F identifier, what we're going to find is that we get back all of the information about that single 
record. So pretty cool. That's using the, the JSON API. If we're using the REST API, we can do the same thing. It's a slightly different URL. Instead of slash maxima, we have slash max rest. And instead of slash OSLC, we have slash rest. Um, we also have a couple of different parameters that we put on the, the query string here. Number one is format equals JSON. Uh, that allows us to, to get a, a JSON uh, response back. We could use XML as well and get an XML response back. The compact equals one is just like the lean equals one in, uh, in the JSON API, and that is um, stripping off namespaces uh, from the, the actual attributes. But if we run the same query with the same uh, header information, what we get back is a, a response here that has our set of one record. Um, and then similarly, uh, if we use this uh, URL here with the same slat max rest, rest MX person, if we use the person UID here of 21 for our, our user or our person Carson, uh, format equals JSON, compact equals one, we'll get back the, the single record here of Carson. So that's how we can get a single record or a list of records um, based on using these APIs. Now, a couple more things. One is if you're using uh, LDAP authentication instead of native authentication, your header information needs to change. The key no longer is max auth, the key is authorization. And instead of just the base64 encoded username and password, what we're going to do is add the word basic with a space in front of that string. So that's the way our header would look. Obviously, this environment's not connected to LDAP, and, and so therefore, um, we're, we're not able to run this query. But if you had an LDAP-enabled uh, environment, that's the way you do it. That's it for now. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Come visit us at a3jgroup.com.